Hey gang, my graphic novel collection has grown considerably, thanks to my local Dollarama. Over the past year, they've gradually put out books of any cover price for 3 and $4 Canadian. And here's all the ones I could gather. Here's Wolverine not dead yet, but with that giant belt pulling his shorts almost up to his chest in that elderly man style, he may not be dead yet, but he does look like he's ready for the retirement home. Here's Superman Adventures Volume 2 with Superman versus the main man. Ooh, there's sure to be lots of hardcore, sacrilegious, ultra-violence in this. Well, wait, that's a kid's comic. We'll be lucky if they punch each other. Here's the hardcover to All-Star Batman Volume 1. A damn fun and beautiful ride, according to Pace. And paste knows fun, but what I really want to know is drying paint's opinion. Here's Armor Wars, War Zones, part of Secret Wars. The quote is, a truly different and independent book, which is code for you don't have to waste your time reading every other Secret Wars book to understand this. Here's Matt Wagner's Trinity, and Batman's never looked more badass, Superman's never looked tougher, and Wonder Woman's never looked more like Rowdy Roddy Piper cosplaying as Wonder Woman. Here's Crisis on Multiple Earths, The Team-Ups, Volume 2, and Dr. Fate saying, uh, Alan, you might want to reconsider consider that salute you're doing there. Like, I'm raising both hands? Here's Batman Ego and other tales, and tales is spelt that way because of the Catwoman story in which Batman gets some, you guessed it, Selina vagina. Here's Superman, the coming of the Superman, and you may be saying a hardcover Neil Adams book at the dollar store? What's wrong with the world? And in fairness, it's also written by Neil Adams, author of such gems as Skate Man. Here's Batman by Brian K. Vaughn, and all the guys in this puddle reflection are looking up at Batman's crotch, because harsh-looking Wonder Woman and caught him looking at her crotch and told him to look at Batman's crotch or she'd splash the shit out of them. I'm just saying she's not quite Aphrodite pretty on this cover. Here's Batman Superman Volume 4 and you know Superman's jealous of Batman getting top billing because he's taking his sweet time saving Bruce from that fireball. Here's Necessary Evil, a tie-in to the straight-to-video documentary on DC supervillains hosted by Christopher Lee. And man, you better love supervillains and Christopher Lee to sit through that. Luckily, I do. Here's Wonder Woman 77 Volume 1 and cartoon Linda Carter's reaching out, trying to touch my private area, is what I claim to the dollar store employees screaming at me to pull up my pants and leave. Here's Batman, Year Zero, the definitive origin of Batman till the next reboot. Here's Superman, Action Comics Volume 4, and this purple-haired chick is looking at Superman and thinking, hmm, nice ass. And Lois is thinking, hmm, nice ass. And Jimmy's thinking, yeah, yeah, it's a nice ass. And Lex is thinking, I must acquire such an ass. Here's Captain America, Winter Soldier Prelude, which is mostly just Steve out jogging Sam and secret Hydra agents winking at each other. Here's New 52 Catwoman Volume 1 and I know exactly what you're going through, Selena. You just want to lounge on a ledge spilling stolen diamonds on your boobs. You kick your boots off but your socks get stuck at the bottom and you gotta pick them out later. I hate when that happens. Here's Wonder Woman, the true Amazon. The storybook style of the cover might attract girls and the blood on the sword and the thigh-high boots and the star-spangled undies peeking out from under the skirt uh, might attract boys. But since I found it in the dollar store, I guess it attracts no one. Here's Adventures of Superman Volume 1 and Superman does this every Every time he remembers almost making a porno with Big Barda and not being able to add that to his spank bank, well, he's got to take his frustration out on some chains. Here's Convergence Flashpoint Book 2, and the selling point of Convergence was, hey, do you also hate the New 52? Well, here's your favorite pre-retconned characters. Here's Avengers Age of Ultron Prelude, and this photo cover perfectly captures the kind of high-tension action you can expect from Age of Ultron. Thrill to Black Widow calming down Hulk. Be on the edge of your seat at Hawkeye's farmhouse and enjoy the calm a vision killing Ultron off screen. Just watch the Hulkbuster scene on YouTube and skip the rest of this movie. Here's Crisis on Multiple Earths Volume 2 with the Silver Age heroes fighting the elderly heroes from the Golden Age. And you could tell that they're aging not just from OG Superman's graying temples, but from the ever so slight sag in Wonder Woman's titties. I'm just saying that Bustier is doing its work. Here's Superman the Man of Steel Volume 3 reprinting all the late 80s Superman series in chronological order. And here's all the characters he teams up with. Hawkeye, the, uh, the Gargoyle, Oil, Big Hero 6 and the Hot Blonde Bitch, and everyone's favorite millionaire youngsters, the Green Team. I don't know that much about comic books. Here's Fantastic Four Extended Family. I think Sue's in that position because she's creating giant invisible balls for the thing and Reed to hold. But Johnny swats his away saying, I don't want to play with your balls. Here's Harley Quinn Power Girl. And to anyone who says, hey, you focus too much on characters' boobs. I say to them, Power Girl's boobs are almost dead center. Every gun is pointing at Power Girl's boobs. And Harley's trying to prevent Power Girl from saying, uh, my eyes are up here. What else am I supposed to focus on? Here's Superman, sacrifice with Supes versus Wonder Woman. Yes, Cal, do what falling Batman couldn't. Protect your crotch. Here's DC Comics Zero Year from the world of Batman, like Superman's from the world of Batman, and Green Arrow's from the world of Batman. You know, current DC should take a tip from this and just make everything a Batman book. Oh, they already
already did? Never mind. Here's Sensation Comics featuring Wonder Woman Volume 2 and Jay Lee tells a very subtle story. Green Lantern saying, since I'm in shadow, no one can see me staring at Diana's ass. You have white eyes, Lantern. Everyone can see where you're looking. Damn it. And Aquaman saying, since I'm in shadow, no one can see me pick this wet wedgie out of my ass. Ah, Jay Lee, you're a master storyteller and not just a guy who draws characters standing and staring. Here's Adventures of Superman Volume 2, where Superman must fight for the return of his dick, apparently. What's going on with his shorts? They go into a perfect point. Here's Legends of the Dark Knight Volume 5, and this is the kind of leg spread bondage cover you find at the dollar store. Here's Superman, the Man of Steel Volume 9, where Superman meets Supergirl. Don't worry, Cal, she's a protoplasmic blob, not your cousin. It's okay if she gives you a boner. Here's Batman Blink with Batman versus some nerd, who's saying maybe if you're in the hospital for a month my wallet can get a break from buying all these Batman books. Here's the New 52 Superman Volume 2. This is an excellent jumping on point for people who have yet to give the Superman monthly title a chance, according to Yahoo Voices. You know what might be an even better jumping on point? Volume 1. Here's Wonder Woman, Volume 7, and thanks to David Finch, Wendy's never looked cuter. The stories are nearly unreadable because the writer's David Finch's wife, but what a cutie. Here's Superman versus Zod. Take my advice, Clark, just break his neck and get it over with. We know how it works. Here's Sandman Overture, and as the cover proclaims, winner of the prestigious Hugo Award. And the lady at the dollar store checkout was like, what the F's a huggo? Here's Superman Adventures Volume 1, and since this is a kid's comic, this cover takes place the millisecond before that ordinance bounces off Cal's left ball. That should at least slow him down. Here's Captain America White, and this one's called White because based on where Bucky's looking, even white boys got to shout at America's ass. Here's Batman Beyond Volume 1, and I've given this a flip through, and not one of the characters appearing behind Terry are in this book. I thought I might have seen Commandy, but it was just some ugly chick. Here's Sensation Comics featuring Wonder Woman Volume 1, and very patient Wendy saying, yes, I'm sure Superman can lift more than one car at a time, but I do have super hearing like Superman, so you don't need to keep honking your horn. No, I won't show my tits. Here's the New 52 Action Comics Volume 1 with Blue Collar Superman. He's got the t-shirt and baggy patch jeans to reconnect to people after wearing that too sensual crotch-hugging no red shorts bodysuit. Here's Superior Spider-Man Team-Up Volume 2 with the Superior 6. Doc Ock is in control of Spidey's body and he was thinking, without that flabby erectile dysfunction riddled Roy Orbison looking body, I'll finally be able to give a good solid porking to May Parker. Wait, this is her nephew? Damn it. Here's Convergence Crisis Book 1 with the old Batman and the Outsiders. Diving Cleavage Black Lightning is back, baby. Here's Daring New Adventures of Supergirl Volume 1 and Kara's got a new costume. They replaced her sleeves with puffy sleeves and they replaced her full chest S with cleavage and I support that design decision. Here's Superman Adventures Volume 3 and Batgirl's like, so why'd you bat signal me, Superman? Well, I saw the killing joke straight to video animated movie and hoped you'd be up for more costume rooftop porking. Here's New 52 Catwoman Volume 5, Race of Thieves. Or based on these background characters, you could call it D-list drag race. Here's Superman and Justice League America Volume 1. There will be no Volume 2, because this reprints to just before Superman gets beaten to death by Doomsday. And here's Wonder Woman by Mike Diodato. That's the title, Wonder Woman by Mike Diodato. It's way better than the original title, Wonder Woman by Sickle Shorts. Here's Superman, Savage Dawn, which I think is the name of Superman's boy band. The New 52 went in some really dreadful directions. Here's Harley Quinn, Volume 5. And I've heard Jimmy Palmiotti say that this is based on Harvey Kurtzman and Will Elder's Little Annie Fanny. But the one key element from Little Annie Fanny that this series lacks? Buxom naked ladies. You really need the buxom naked ladies to make it work. Here's Superman, Volume 5, and he's using his laser vision to carve himself a new logo. I guess he doesn't trust DC to do it since they think that dumb peeling sticker look for the short-lived DC logo is totally cool. Here's Teen Titans Volume 3 with Robin. Uh, oh, it's Red Robin? And Impulse. Oh, that's Kid Flash. And the black chick's what, Bumblebee? That's Power Girl? Come on, DC, give an elderly man a break with a character checklist or something. Here's the Mighty Thor, God's Gladiators and the Guardians of the Galaxy. And this ain't your father's Guardians of the Galaxy, more like your father's way older stepbrother who you only see at funerals, Guardians of the Galaxy. Here's Who is Wonder Woman? We'll give you a hint with a close-up of her cleavel. I mean Eagle. Here's X-Men Civil War 2. And in the background, you see Storm rocking the Mohawk mullet in an attempt to outdo even Medusa's hairdo. Yes, some great scores, some not as great as others. But either way, it allowed me to spend money on comics during the pandemic. I've got links pinned in the comments for other goofs I've done on these books. So check those out and be sure to like and subscribe.